What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Black Apino, the Apple Guy. Today I have a Apple tutorial for you and what I'm going to do today is show you how you can do file transfers from your Mac or your PC to your iPad or your iPhone. Now depending on which iPad you have, all you're going to need is just the charging cord for it. So if you have a regular iPad, it's just your lightning to USB. If you have the iPad Air or the Pro, or the mini is USB-C to USB-C so if you're using on a uh, Mac obviously USB-C to USB-C is all you need but if you have a PC uh, you should have a USB-C on your computer if not you can do a um, USB-C to USB if you have the iPad Pro or the Air or the mini just keep in mind that usually these cords won't charge your iPad uh, if you plug it in if it does good if it doesn't just keep that in mind so if your iPad isn't fully charged or if it's almost dead uh, don't do it because you'll end up uh, your iPad will end up dying in the middle of you doing a file transfer otherwise if your iPad is sufficiently charged up then um, you're good to go so what you can see here is I have my iPad Air and I'm using a program known as Reflector to mirror my iPhone or my iPad to my PC. And if you're not familiar with Reflector, I will drop a link down below if you want to take a look at that. And I'm also using OBS, which is a program that a lot of Twitch streamers use to uh, record their screens on either their Mac or their PC. So all you're going to need is iTunes, which if you don't have iTunes, you can simply just go to the Apple, uh, Apple website and simply just download iTunes or just type in where to download iTunes and it will go from there and take you to that and you simply download your iTunes. Now once you are done with iTunes, you'll have to kind of follow the instructions on that. So we're just gonna keep, I'm just gonna show you um, what I am doing with mine. So this is iTunes. So what you're gonna do, if you're not familiar with um, iTunes, it's just basically it's a media player that is for Apple. That's basically the same thing as what Windows has for there's Windows Media Device for Windows, iTunes for Apple devices, but it also works on PCs as well. So if you're familiar with what the media player looks like, as you can see, this is the, the front of iTunes, at least for mine. Now you may have yours selected on something different. Whatever's here is not gonna matter. What's gonna matter is what is focused on here. So as you can see, it'll show your library, Apple Music Playlist, most playlists, things of that nature on this side. What you're going to look for is where it says Devices. Now, if you notice right here where it says Music, where you can select Music, Videos, TV Show, Podcasts, and Audiobooks, if you look just to the side of that, this little thing right here, that is basically your device. So as you can see, this is my iPad here. That's basically showing that my iPad is connected to my computer and it's giving me this option. Now, if you have an iPhone, it's going to be a little bit smaller and it'll just look kind of like a rectangular box. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna select that. And then as you can see, this gives you all the information for your device. Obviously the capacity, the serial number, your iPad, what generation it is with iOS, and then kind of here's where it shows like what you have in terms of internal storage and space. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go up here because this is where, again, you need to pay attention to your settings. You select on file sharing. And depending on the apps that you have that allow you to have this option, anything that you see on this side basically means that you can simply just add a file to it. Now, it may be different for a lot of these apps, so we're just going to focus on the stuff that most people are familiar with. So, as you can see, I have some uh, numbers here, which is basically Apple's version of Excel. So, if you want to add a file to that, as you can see right here, where it says Add Files, you simply click on that. And then again, it will go to the default whatever your default is for your um, computer or Mac. So you, you end up having to look for the file depending on where you have it located. And if you have it with Word pages or pages, which is basically just another fancy thing for words, again, the same way, add file, and then it takes you to the default location where that stuff is at. Same thing with words. Um, it does the same thing, add files, and that's how that works. Now, I use this primarily for VLC, which is basically an alternative to both Windows Media Player as well as for iTunes because this allows me to download videos from iTunes, or I'm sorry, not from iTunes, but from YouTube to a specific folder that I usually have it for for the program that I download and I can simply just add and remove. So say there was a video that I wanted to use or wanted to download and watch on VLC, I simply would just again scroll down to the bottom where it says add file click on that and then whatever file that I have my videos located at which typically would be just the video files and then whatever the program that uh, generally defaults it to I will simply click on that file 
and then I will simply just click on something and then hit open and then what it will do is depending on the file if it's um, obviously I have a duplicate of this so I'm just gonna hit cancel but it would just simply just add it to this now if there was something that I wanted to remove then again I would just simply just click on uh, a, a video file or any file and then there's no right click or left click so you would simply just have to actually use the delete actual key on your keyboard so you have to find the delete keyboard usually um, on most keyboards would be del which is abbreviation for delete you click on it and then it's going to say are you sure you want to delete the selected document you hit um, delete and it removes it from your ipad until you're ready to add it again and then that's all you do once you're done you simply just hit done and that's all it is you can exit out of itunes and that's all you have to do now depending on where you keep your files that's all you have to do and it's much easier to do it this way especially if you're crunched for time or your iPad is kind of dying or you don't have Wi-Fi in the area where you need to obviously you can airdrop things but typically with video files it does take a little bit longer to uh, transfer those files via that way to your uh, to your Mac and if you have a PC you really can't do it that way you have to do it a different way the direct connect way is easy, usually the easiest because it gives you maximum amount of uh, time to add as many files and folders at or should I say just files that you want to your iPad depending again on what you're using so if you use a lot of words and pages and excels or any type of office productivity apps this works much better for you so I hope this video was helpful if it was please give me a thumbs up and again if you're new to my channel please think about hitting that subscribe button hit that bell notification that way you don't miss content when I drop it and again the program that I'm using is known as Reflector as well as OBS and I have a link down below for both of those if you want to take a look at that and that's everything that I have for today and again I want to thank everybody for watching this video and everybody enjoy your summer and I'll see you guys in the next video. And that's everything that I got for today. So, and that's everything that I have for today. So, I want to thank everybody for watching. And again, if you're new to my channel, please think about smashing that subscribe button, hit the bell notification. That way, you don't miss content when I drop it. And my name is Black Apple Guy, and I will see you guys in the next video.